All right, I've been crushing it in the yard lately, so I figured I might as well give you an update, show you around, see what's going on. I'm upstairs in my office right now. So this is what my office is. This is where you guys see me uh, making videos. And here's my palm plant that had spider mites, apparently, from Home Depot. So it's all good. I would show you the garage, but you know what? It's a little packed. Eh, we'll go in from the outside. I can't really get in from the inside, to be honest. All right. Here's the front yard. Plenty of space. I'm gonna be taking down a few trees soon, so there's no spikies in the lawn. I can come out here in bare feet. So here's the garage, completely packed out with stuff. This is the whole business right here, what you're looking at. That's the business right there. The whole thing back here too. So, and I'll show you the infamous water filter that my landlord tried to steal from me. Here it is. Here it is. Sponsored by Fountain. <laughs> so we're gonna get this installed here in the back little water room. Where the water main is. And then we'll have nice filtered water through all the sprinklers, all of the hose nozzles. The shower, the sinks, all of it will be amazing filtered water by Fountain. Thank you, Fountain. All right, what do we got going on here? This isn't actually sponsored, I'm just giving them a shout out. I love them. Little bed we cleaned up, it's popping off nicely. We actually ran out of space in the, in the garage, as you can see, so we put up a little tent. Got our hammock out here. Got the wheel barrows not wheel barrels, wheel barrow. And I'm gonna see if these fig trees root. I don't think they will. I think this fig tree was dead. It's very dry, but we got some rooting hormone in with the water down there. Then here's where the magic's been happening. Check this out. Mustard, look at that color. Focus. Sun's been doing good. Anyways. I had some lettuce in my salad today, so I planted it right there. Hopefully it'll root. Got my mustard here. Forget what this is. But these three plants were given to me by a friend named Connor. This is some lettuce coming in. It's bunching up nicely, getting nice and dense now that it's in soil. Now that it's in its forever home. And I planted a line of radish. You can see them coming up. They're all poking through. And then I'll thin them out and eat them. And then I'll have radishes eventually. Right here I planted a bunch of mustard. So that'll come up in a bunch. And now I've been prepping this bed right here. These are all wood chips and underneath the wood chips were like branches and then stumps. And then I'm gonna load compost onto here. And then a more potting style mix right on top. These are some plants that were donated to me. Friend on Instagram hit me up and he was like, yo, I got some plants. I live on Long Island, you want some? And I was like, sure, I'll plant them up. So, and then I'm gonna get some more of these planters and plant them here and here and here. And if you wanna know what these planters are, they look so nice. I've been getting a lot of compliments on them and they were super easy to build actually. Uh, we're loving them so far. They're called birdie boxes, but I'll put a link in the description so you can check those out. These are the tall ones. And then over here, Got my little jade forest. The tall trees that just look like sticks 
those got burnt. I didn't, uh, I didn't really warm them up enough. I brought them right outside and the leaves got burnt. So that's okay. I, uh, I trimmed them all and now they'll come back even bushier. And now that they're in the ground getting, you know, resources and electricity from Mother Earth, they're going to come back really fast and really nice. They're already seeming like they're popping off uh, some of their tops and growing new growth. So that's great. And all these wood chips are new. Started prepping these, getting these ready. This morning at about eight o'clock, my neighbors had some tree work people coming in. Saw a tree service on the side of the truck and I was like, hey, I could use some wood chips right now. That's a valuable resource that they have to pay for to get rid of. So I ran over and he said he would dump them. So I'm walking to the back right now where I have my new pile of wood chips that have come in handy today for sure. Very exciting to be getting some natural resources here on the property and turning it into magic. So here's my pile of wood chips. I got through maybe a third of it, maybe a quarter. And that was about a quarter of a truck that he dumped. I told him to drop one full truck. So that's going to be what I got today plus another four of those piles. That way I'll just have them and it'll be right here. Now, even if I don't use all of the wood chips, which I'm sure I'll use a bunch, then it's okay if they just sit there because they'll just start breaking down into mulch. So that's fine. And then I'll show you over here something else I've been doing with the wood chips today. I started my compost. My first real compost that I get to start. Check this out. So what I'm doing here is I'm layering the nitrogen and the carbon and these are actually spent trays from my microgreens. I don't know exactly how much nitrogen is really in it, so I'm doing as thin of layers of the wood chips, the carbon, as possible. Um, and also I want to break down fast too, so I want a little bit more nitrogen in there. But yeah, this is my first official compost pile. We started with carbon on the bottom, wood chips on the bottom. We did, we did then one toter full across the way. Then we did another wheelbarrow of wood chips, one more toter, and then another thing of wood chips. And this is it, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try to turn it about five times in three months. Hopefully we'll have some compost. This is all the sticks that we've been chopping around the yard. So these are gonna go in the next birdie boxes. This I'm gonna let break down for a bit. This is fresher and bigger wood. But this, this is uh, about a month, month and a half old stuff that was clipped. So we'll put these in the bottom of the birdie boxes after maybe some hunks of the wood that's over there. Let's see if I could zoom in for you. Oh yeah, sexy. Love me some natural resources. <laughs> oh, I'm so pumped about all this, guys. I've been waiting. I've been waiting forever for this. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life. I guess I kind of have. But starting my microgreens business five years ago, best decision ever, because that led to five years of doing well for myself and learning a crap ton of information that I could take with me moving forward. And now I get to have the opportunity of living at the house that my grandfather built back in 59 and taking this over and having this place be my legacy. So I'm really excited. This is uh, this garden area right here is actually where my grandfather had his garden. It's overgrown now. He hasn't done much with it in the past few years. But right here, literally right here, this row, is where my passion for agriculture and fresh food, that's where it all started, right here. I remember being so young. Some of my first memories, literally, walking down the aisle with these towering string bean vines and picking the string beans off the vine and eating them fresh. And, uh, that had a big impact. I didn't really, uh, I didn't really have a lot of that type of stuff, fresh food growing up, really. My parents didn't, didn't have a garden really, but my passion was re-sparked in college 
where I was learning about Will Allen and his methods of agriculture. And uh, yeah, so that's where it was re-sparked. And then it led me on this journey of working for a farm for two summers and then starting my microgreens business because I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur and do something in agriculture. I gotta say, I'm pretty pumped. So here's the, here's the fig bush, the fig tree. I think it's dead. It was really dry. It's really dry. I remember the last figs I saw on it were really dry. Probably hasn't been watered much. I don't think it's really been taken care of. But we'll see what comes back. Maybe it'll come back a little bit. I'll be able to fix it up. Otherwise, I gotta get my hands on some new fig fig trees ASAP. Probably from Teddy Bulkus, Thera Farms, my boy. Be stopping by, grabbing some uh, fig trees, my man. We got some good ones. I wanna show you guys this area. I've been kind of clearing out, but letting the vines grow up and into the tree to kind of make like an enclosed area. Oh, by the way, speaking of Teddy, this is the hydroponic kit I bought from Teddy a few years back at a great price, and I'll be able to set this up soon as well. Be growing some lettuce, hell yeah. So anyways, got the vines growing up. Beautiful ground cover, I don't know what this is. Actually, I feel like I tried some, I think that might be like wild mustard or something, or like horseradish, something like that. Cause I tasted it the other day and it was really good. And then here's some other crop. I think this gets flowers, yellow flowers. They might've already come and gone, but it's nice. I wonder how it is on the feet. Oh yeah. That's what you want. That's what you want. So this is my little uh, freaking selfie stick business. This is my little area. This is for Cynthia. Although I'm surprised it's not bloomed yet. Maybe they're not bloomed yet. Maybe some are and some aren't. So this is for Cynthia. This is all bloom and fill in and give us privacy through to the neighbors because that's the neighbors right there. And then I'm building like a dam. <laughs> and like letting the vines climb up. So, I don't know, kind of fun. Hey, there we go. Kind of fun, maybe like a little meditation area. Oh, this guy's popping up. Gotta take care of you. Oh, I almost forgot my, my Burks. Don't forget the Burks. All right, so what else can I show you? Here's the hydroponics. Can't wait to start using that. That's gonna be fun. Water automation. Very fascinated. Very fascinated. Efficiency, convenience. That's what it's all about. Oh. All right. Now, here's an elderberry tree or bush, whatever, that I planted. Another elderberry. And then I have 10 blackberries across the way. Look at this guy, popping off. Good job, little buddy. Most, mostly popping at the bottoms. But I think they're doing good, most of them. Look at this one. Get it. Get it. Ooh. Let me get out of the light. Look at all that growth on the bottom. Hell yeah. This one's going. And then one more elderberry right here. And then if I get a greenhouse, it's going to go right here. So this, these blackberries will line, uh, make a line next to the greenhouse. And then um, I'm thinking about getting a 20 by 60 foot greenhouse and putting it right here over the whole garden area. That'll be my little playroom, my little spot to be fucking around, playing with plants. I got an air prune, I got an air prune. Uh, this is a chestnut tree, and this one is also a chestnut tree. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna air prune it, 
That way I could give a cutting to the guy who gave me all those plants for free today. Figured that'd be a nice thing to do. Pay it back. All right, I think that's about it. Property's coming alive. We're in the springtime. What's today? Like May. Hey, it's Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Hey, maybe we'll get some Mexican food tonight. That'd be good. Delicious, at least. All right. I'm signing out. Thanks for watching. I'll tune in again soon with more progress. Much love, guys.